Georgina Rodriguez, a model and former sales assistant, is best known for being the long-term partner of living football legend Cristiano Ronaldo. This is the longest and perhaps the most serious relationship for the football icon. Before bumping into Ronaldo by chance, Rodriguez was a simple girl who could only dream of making it big someday. Independent from a young age, she had a regular life with a regular job that promised sustenance. Today, Rodriguez is billed as one of the most popular wags who lives an extravagant life that is a far cry from the one she had known in her younger days. Per Rodriguez's lavish lifestyle and striking looks with her dreamy romance with one of the greatest football stars of all time, and you have a master formula for social media success. Since meeting Ronaldo, she has amassed millions of followers on Instagram, where she regularly shares photos with her children. Rodriguez has also graced many magazine covers, including InStyle, Cosmopolitan, and Women's Health. Even with all the media attention and a reality show to her name, she is a private person who keeps most details of her personal life under wraps. But that's not all that defines her. Here are a few things that you might not know about Georgina Rodriguez. Georgina Rodriguez was born to her Argentinian father, Jorge Eduardo Rodriguez Gorjón, and Spanish mother, Ana Maria Hernández, in Buenos Aires. As she told XL Semanal, at the time of her arrival, they did not live in Argentina, but happened to be visiting her father's side of the family. Afterward, they made their way back to Spain, eventually settling in a small town called Jaca. Rodriguez did not come from money, but she enjoyed her quiet life. As she shared in Netflix's I Am Georgina, she has many fond memories of her childhood, a simple yet formative time. Rodriguez has everything she ever wanted and more now, but she hasn't forgotten where she came from. Like her partner, Cristiano Ronaldo, her love for family runs deep and she makes it known. In January 2022, she paid tribute to her mother and sister in a lengthy Instagram caption, writing, Thank you to my mom and my sister Ivana for accompanying me on the road of life, because we have always been a small family of three, but this has made us unconditional and inseparable. Thank you, mother, for the values you instilled in us, which today I can't live without. For someone who is the partner of one of the greatest and the most talked about people in the world, it's impressive how Georgina Rodriguez still maintains an air of mystery about her. She sparsely talks about her relationship with Cristiano Ronaldo and makes it a point to avoid bringing up her father, Jorge Eduardo Rodriguez Gorjón, during interviews. Her need for privacy when it comes to her father is understandable, though. As per the Daily Mail, Gorhan was a convicted drug dealer who was jailed in 2003 over drug trafficking offenses. In 2003, he attempted to smuggle over $100,000 worth of cocaine from Spain to France and was ultimately caught. Several arrest warrants had already been issued for him when he was taken into custody. Gorhan was banned from returning to Spain after his 10-year sentence. He died in 2019 following a stroke. After Gorhan was jailed, Rodriguez's uncle, Jesus Hernandez, reportedly stepped up to help the family out. After Rodriguez started dating Ronaldo, she reportedly distanced herself from Hernandez and some other family members. Hernandez told the son that Rodriguez was ungrateful towards him, claiming, She may feel ashamed of us and consider she's better than us because we don't live with her luxury. I've never asked her for anything. She has only rung once or twice since I found out she was dating Ronaldo. He also claimed she didn't tell him about her father's death. As a child, Georgina Rodriguez dreamt of growing up and having a career in the dance world. As she shared that her mom put her in ballet class with the hope that it would help her come out of her shell. This instinct proved to be a good one, as Rodriguez fell in love with dance. However, by the time she was a teenager, her family could no longer afford to send her to classes or keep up with the additional costs that come with the sport, such as point shoes. And just like that, Rodriguez's hopes of becoming a ballet teacher someday were squashed. Though Rodriguez's journey with ballet was cut short, she finds joy in other forms of dancing now. In 2020, she put on her dancing heels at the San Remo Italian Song Festival. Rodriguez, who also hosted the show, set the stage on fire with her tango. 
As The Sun noted, Rodriguez's beau, Cristiano Ronaldo, was there to cheer her on. Once upon a time, Georgina Rodriguez lived in a storage room in Madrid. In I Am Georgina, via The Sun, Rodriguez shared that she spent nearly $300 a month to rent what was basically a closet while she was selling high-end bags at Gucci. But of course, that would all change when a certain superstar footballer stopped by her store. As Rodriguez recalled in I Am Georgina, via Evening Standard, as she helped him pick out products, the two clicked. Within a matter of time, she went from being his personal shopper to his girlfriend. When they initially started dating, Cristiano Ronaldo would pick her up from work in his luxurious cars. He would come, I remember once, once in a Bugatti. My co-workers went crazy. They get there on the bus and I would leave in a Bugatti. I mean, people couldn't believe it, she said in the series, via People. While riding around in high-end vehicles sure sounds fun, the media blitz that comes with dating one of the most famous men on the planet was not always a breeze. Thanks to all of the attention suddenly thrust upon her, Rodriguez no longer could work at Gucci, nor could she take up jobs at other luxury retailers. So she kept herself busy with modeling gigs as Ronaldo romanced her. On April 18, 2022, Georgina Rodriguez and Cristiano Ronaldo experienced a tragedy when one of their twins died shortly after birth. As they grappled with the unsurmountable heartbreak, their newborn daughter, Bella Esmeralda, gave them hope and strength. The pair took to Instagram to share their grief, writing, We are devastated by this loss and beg for privacy at this difficult time. Baby, you are our angel. We will always love you. Per CNN, rival football clubs expressed their condolences on social media, and Ronaldo's former club Real Madrid showed their support with a statement that read, in part, Real Madrid joins the pain of the whole family and wants to show them all our love and affection. While on vacation in Sardinia in August 2022, Rodriguez got a tattoo of an angel holding a moon. As Ramezcla noted, she did not explicitly state what inspired the ink. It is believed to be in honor of her late son. She also got a tattoo to commemorate her love for Ronaldo. Way back when Georgina Rodriguez was working in high-end stores and renting out a storage closet, she wasn't exactly rolling in the dough, but now she is worth millions. Thanks to modeling gigs, brand deals, and her Netflix show, she's added multiple zeros to her net worth, which Celebrity Net Worth estimates at $10 million. Needless to say, her various deals have been lucrative. Rodriguez also gets a monthly allowance from her partner, Cristiano Ronaldo. As per a 2020 report from The Sun, she apparently gets a little over $90,000 a month for her expenses. Hope you now know Georgina much better. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on more celebrities gist. Until the next one, please stay tuned.